In this video, we want to talk about backflow prevention and the options that we have available, but then also the other options that you may be required to install on your property based on municipal regulations. Um, in many cases, what you're going to have is backflow prevention through a large brass or steel uh, breaker valve that's required by municipal law to have on your property. We'll have a picture of one of those on the screen so you can see approximately what those look like. Um, but some municipalities do not install those on properties and they actually just require the resident to use anti-siphon valves of their own. The reason the anti-siphon or backflow is important is because your water is coming through your sprinklers um, at a very high pressure and um, when that pressure stops when the valves turn off it causes um, a vacuum or a siphon effect that will suck water back in. Now this is dangerous for, uh, for the residents of the home because in your sprinklers, you know, they're out in dirt, there can be sort of um, composting material like grass clippings or bacteria in the, you know, in the mud. There could be chemicals like fertilizers. And even those, um, you know, small microscopic particles can still get into your water supply and that vacuum, that, that siphon effect could suck those back in, it would get into your main water supply and into your drinking water. So you wanna prevent that. An anti-siphon valve as well as a vacuum breaker um, basically break that vacuum and do not allow that water to go back through the pipes. Uh, this is an anti-siphon valve here. Um, you've got just your main, main valve here with a solenoid that could be hooked up to a timer. Um, the water would come up this way and then go down this way, and this is the vacuum breaker up here. So when the um, when the water turns off, this causes the the vacuum the the siphon effect to stop at this point. So there's no extra water going back through the valve. As you'll know, on top of these, they do have a warning that these need to be placed at least six inches above the highest point of the sprinkler system. So usually, when you see anti-siphon valves as well as vacuum breakers, they're going to be above ground and um, they've got stems that come up and then go back down. Now there are ways to cover these. We make uh, rock covers. Um, we'll show an image here on the screen of rock covers that we make that can hide these in your yard and protect them from the elements. If you have a vacuum breaker, then you can just use regular valves like these. If you have any questions on this process, uh, please let us know. Remember to check with your local municipality when you're installing a sprinkler system on what the requirements are and they'll be able to tell you what kind of anti-siphon um, anti or backflow prevention you'll need.